Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be talking about virtual environments in Python. Uh, I did another video on virtual ems. I'll try and remember to link that in the description. Uh, but in this one we're talking about a very specific task with virtual environments, which is moving them uh, from one location to another. And by default this isn't supported due to the way that uh, virtual ems are set up. Um, but I'm going to show you a tool that allows you to move virtual environments. Uh, so let's jump into it. Okay, so for today's demo, I'm just going to set up a virtual env. Uh, we're going to call it src, and I'm going to move it to dest later and show you that it breaks. Um, but let's just get started by doing that. And if I do source bin pip install ASD pretty, so I'm just going to install some library that has a command line tool. This will help us demo the problem in a sec. And so if we do that, and just to show you that it works, source bin ASD pretty, if we call dash dash help, uh, you'll see it does this, and I guess we can make it um, actually print out something. Uh, oops, we need to do dev standard in. Yeah, there we go. So you can see ASD pretty works. Uh, now, if I were to come along and move this uh, virtual environment, now you might ask, why would you move a virtual environment? Uh, the most common case that I've seen for this is you build an environment in one place, and then you deploy it to some other machine and want to place it at a different place. So this is often useful if you're doing like, uh, you know, large scale software deployments. Now, I would argue that it's significantly better to adjust your build machinery to make sure that you're building the environment at the location that it will end up in the final state. Uh, this will save, you know, a lot of headaches. And if there are potential edge cases in the tool that I'm about to show you, then uh, you'll, you'll avoid an entire class of problems and not have to worry about this problem. But sometimes you need to move stuff. And so I'm going to show you anyway. Um, so uh, let's say that we move source to dest. So I have moved this virtual environment to this other place. Uh, and I went to then invoke ASD pretty. You'll get this, uh, this error message that happens quite a lot. Bad interpreter, no such file or directory. And the reason for this is when uh, pip installs packages into an environment, it makes sure to set the shebang on the um, on the executables here. Uh, I actually did a video about shebang, so I will link that in the description as well. But you can see here, this shebang contains a full uh, path to the Python executable, including the path that, uh, you know, the previous path that it was at. And there's actually some other stuff inside the virtual environment that has problems like this as well, like the PyC files contain full paths. I think, is this config file? No. Uh, there's symlinks inside dest bin that have, oh no, they're no longer full paths. Huh. Oh, the activate script does though. Dest bin activate. Um, there's source in here. Yeah, you can see that, you know, this, this also has a full path. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff that, you know, refers to the old path. And so a lot of the scripts in here are just kind of broken when you try and move a virtual environment. Now, uh, what you can do is install this other tool. So I'm going to make a separate virtual environment to install another tool. We're going to pip install virtualenv tools 3. Uh, now, the 3 is because uh, this is actually a package that, oops, um, that I worked on when I was at Yelp, and it's a fork from an upstream package that's dead. <laughs> this upstream package hasn't been, oh, it's been updated recently. Oh, oh no, it hasn't been updated since 2012. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, so we, we forked this and improved it and fixed it and made it actually work <laughs> instead of not working. Uh, but anyway, what you would want to do with virtual env tools is do virtual env tools. Let's actually just run the help first. Virtual env tools help. Uh, and you'll see that it takes a virtual env path and it takes this update path argument and you can set it to auto to make it do kind of the normal thing. I'm actually going to run it with verbose so you can see some of the stuff that it rewrites here. So if we run virtual env tools, uh, test and then update path auto. Uh, I forgot to run it with ver verbose. Dang it. <laughs> oh, I deleted the wrong virtual environment. Anyway, you can run it with verbose. I'm not going <laughs> to recreate this, but uh, you can see that it updated the destination to from temp explains source to temp explains test. It knows how to auto detect what the old one is. And if you look at dest bin ast pretty dash dash help now, you'll see that that works. The activate script also works. Uh, I didn't show it didn't work before, but you know, it works now. Um, and so this is how you can kind of move a virtual environment uh, by moving it and then using this virtual tools thing to fix it. 
Uh, but anyway, hopefully this was helpful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.